Hey what's up this is Riyadh from Ox Coding and in this video we will fetch data from the API using Rx Java. Let's create a Kotlin class in repository movie details network data source. Here we will call our API by using Rx Java and our API will return the movie details and then we will assign the movie details in a live data. And here the constructor has the movie DV interface and composite disposable. Now what's composite disposable? This is the Rx Java component we can use to dispose our API calls. So when we want to dispose a Rx Java thread, we can use composite disposable. It will be more clear when we implement it. Now let's create mutable live data of network state. We are using mutable live data because live data is not mutable by nature. So we can't change it. But with mutable live data we can change the value. This underscore means it's private. Now live data of network state and this get will be called every time we access this network state variable. So we don't need to implement setter and getter. As you can see this is private and this is public. So we'll only have access to this network state live data. Now let's do the same thing for movie details. Here we have downloaded movie response live data. Now let's create a function fetch movie details and it takes movie ID as its parameter. Inside the function we post the value of network state loading to network state mutable live data. And in a try catch block, we'll use Rx Java thread to make network calls. We want this thread to be disposable. So we'll add this thread in our composite disposable. Composite disposable dot add. Inside, we call API service dot get movie details with movie ID. This get movie details function returns a single observable. So we can observe it here with dot subscribe on scheduler dot io. Scheduler.io is a thread pool. Here we are subscribing on scheduler.io thread pool to observe this network call. Now dot subscribe. Here we have two parameters, one for success and one for throwable. If the network call is success, we get the movie details. We post the value of it, which is movie details on our mutable live data, download movie details response. And we post network state dot loaded on mutable live data network state. If there is an error, we post network state dot error and print a log message for the error. And in the catch block, we also print a log. Now inside single movie details, let's create a Kotlin class movie details repository. And here the constructor has a PI service, which is the movie DV interface. Now a variable for movie details network data source and this late init means late initialization. Function fetch single movie details have parameters of composite disposable and movie id and the return type is live data of movie details. And here we initialize movie details network data source with api service and composite disposable and call fetch movie details with movie id. Then we return live data downloaded movie response. And here is another function to get network state live data. Although this repository class seems like an extra step that we are doing, but if we want to cache the data in local storage, this is where we would do it. Now let's create the view model, single movie view model. It extends view model and the constructor takes movie details repository and movie id. Here we initialize the composite disposable. Now we fetch single movie details by lazy. So we'll get the movie details when we need it, not when this view model class is initialized. You can also write it like this, it will be okay, but we are using lazy for better performance. We also get movie details network state by lazy. And now we need to override on cleared. 
Uncleared is called when the activity or fragment get destroyed. So uncleared we dispose or composite disposable. So there won't be any memory leaks. And that's all for this video. The project link is in the video description. See you guys in the next one.